Hello there, this is Aramatsu, and today I'd like to show you the Mac Tracker application. Basically, what Mac Tracker does, it is a, a database of all Macintosh computers that were made, including peripherals, uh, imaging devices, printers, servers, and so on. It's built in into this application. Version 5.0, released in 20, uh, 2009 of November. Uh, this version is outdated due to the fact that the Macintosh version is actually uh, maintained more than the Windows version. And so I'm getting the idea there that they, they discontinued development for uh, the Windows version. Okay, basically right here you have timeline, you have my models, desktop, notebooks, servers, devices, software, and smart categories. Uh, we're going to start with timelines. And basically, as you may see right here uh, in this uh, left panel basically shows your timeline of every single uh, year that the Macintosh was produced all the way from 1983 until 2009 and so in this panel right here you can actually search a database of any computer that was released in that year so as you may know PowerBook 160 an example so here it is it pops up a window and in this window in this window you may see that Here's all of all the data and information about the Macintosh PowerBook 160. In, introduced in 92, discontinued in 93 of August. Uh, machine IDs and uh, initial price and support statuses. It has the general tab. And as well, it shows you what operating system was, uh, it was running. It has memory and graphics, expansion ports, history. History tab is one of the most uh, important because it just shows you a little bit of background on the PowerBook and the product itself. One of the very cool features about Mac Tracker it has startup chime and death chime. Macintoshes are are known for their uh, typical startup chimes, and as well, before in the '90s they used to have something called a death chime. And uh, that meant that the hardware failed and the computer could no longer boot. So, you know, that's that. Timeline. My models is if you want to uh, add your actual computer to my models uh, list, you can do that. We'll go over in warranty, leaving out of warranty and out of warranty. Desktops. We're going to start with a simple search on a Power Macintosh. And basically, it can be any model you want the iMac, current iMacs, or as old as the iMac G3. Let's choose the iMac G3. So it shows you history. It shows you a little, this one is more, uh, has more things on it because it's the first iMac. And so you can see this. Built in 1998 and discontinued in January 1999. And initial price of 12.99 and obsolescent. And a power PC a G3 processor, number of course one, of course, and a process speed of 23 megahertz. But how about how about you want to see devices? If you're a little more interested in iPhones, you can actually see the devices. You can see general tab, and this one has a little bit of more different tabs because it has a media, which shows you what compatible uh, formats this device is compatible with. So be your formats, and shows you resolutions of and uh, f frames per second. Also shows you power and connectivity, and of course it is still supported with a version of iTunes 8.2. But how about something more interesting? How about uh, if you want to look at a historical mobile device? And here we have a Newton. Basically, you can see it's a uh, little graphic right there. It has history, operations, uh, altitude of 10,000 feet. Basically, if you put it on space, it will blow up, and so on. Now, to go more in depth on how this application can be used, pretty much. You can actually just search if someone will ask you, hey, I would like to get some information on replacing a power supply. Uh, and so you would say PowerBook. They actually will say, oh, okay, I have a PowerBook. 
and you will have to default back to all models. Our book. Oops. Start again. Search. Hmm. There we go. Um, let's try it again. There we go. Power book. And so let's say they wanted to buy a battery. And you know, hey, how would I order a battery if I really don't have the power book on me or I really don't know how it looks like or they just tell me I would like to get a battery. Um, let's choose a more common model. Here it is. So they'll show you. Um, they'll say, okay, well, this is a power book G3. And then you specify, okay, which version Wall Street and you specify the keyboard because, you know, keyboards do change. And so they will probably ask you, hey, I'd like to, you know, order a battery. And so basically you got um, all the information right here. And um, get expansion ports. And so they'll probably tell you, well, I'd like to go, uh, get an IC adapter or power supply. And, and so you would search M4402 and the battery. for, And it tells you what type of battery, lithium ion. M6385 and 4685 two versions and it'll tell you uh, this application itself tells you the battery life so up to seven hours you have both base taken now if you can see right here this this power book had two base on them so if they were swappable and you can just put uh, two batteries on them and so it has also max kill uh, watts and so on and 45 watts and line voltage and a back of battery which is an internal battery here's a number for it and it also shows you uh, connectivity no airport no bluetooth but ethernet and infrared of 4 megabits per second and a modem with a standard of 56 kilobits per second so um, this is a very useful application if you want to service Macintosh computers um, and basically, if you want to install system software, it shows you what version, Mac OS 8.0, yeah, maximum Mac OS 10, 10.2. Here it is. And of course, it doesn't have to be a historical model. It could be a Pablo G4. It could be a MacBook Pro. Shows you memory and so on. And it shows you graphics and maximum amount of RAM. So if you it was all it will also show you what type of slots you can put into this machine, and graphics cards and graphics connections, yeah, and screen resolutions and so on. And iPods too, so one of the favorites iPod with the scroll wheel. And just be mindful that this this is 2009, so you know it may be now in vintage status. See, shows you uh, power and uh, audio formats, what type of power, file wire, the history. A little bit of background on what is in warranty and what is leaving out warranty and what is out of warranty. In warranty just basically means that Apple is still gives you Apple Care and services if it's in warranty. So models that were bought about maybe one month ago up to one year will be our in warranty such as if we were in 2009 it will be supported however if I were to choose a power book maybe a power book 100 from the nine for 1991 you'll see it is obsolete however if I choose a mid-range model maybe a mid-year Maybe something that is not that old. Um, you can also scroll back. I mean, you can go back and forward, you know. And so you can see this is a model that is vintage. Models that are vintage can be serviced in California, but not anywhere else. Uh, if it, if their, um, if their status is obsolete, if they are vintage, they can be serviced in California. 
And so that is a little bit of demo on Mac Tracker and the capabilities of Mac Tracker and how it can help you identify models and learn about history. Yeah, and basically just, you know, learn how to uh, service a Macintosh or just learn what a Macintosh is or how it sounds or what system software and so on. So that's Mac Tracker. Thank you.